Now, UCLA. Now, I could stay at home and play for UCLA. But the only downside to that, they wanted this kid to play on the defense side of the ball, and that was not going to happen. Now, Arizona could be a good look, but with a lot of depth in front of him, that kind of scared Jaheim, and so Arizona was out of the question. Now, Appalachian State is considered, you know, just looking at the depth chart. Now, the two upperclassmen are leaving. That would give, you know, Jaheim the opportunity to compete for that running back role after his freshman season. Now, ultimately, he chose Appalachian State. Yes, freshman season, he would promise a role, and that role is kickoff return duty and punt return duty. Now, this kid got speed for days. You know, a lot of games could come down to that decision, but in our first game against North Texas, here's our schedule, and we got Ole Miss, and we got Florida State in our schedule. Now, the sleeper team, to me, is the Fresno State. We cannot sleep on them, but it's our schedule. If we can win about eight, nine, maybe ten games, then we good. Now, coming into it, we are ranked 42nd preseason. That's, that's not that bad, but as y'all can see, we are starting at their fourth string running back. We got a long way to go, a, a long uphill battle, but that's what we want to grind. We definitely want that grind coming into the Tucson prospect. We definitely gonna have to grind. You feel me? So our very first touch of our college career, he trying to make something happen. Y'all see the speed. It's outrunning everyone. And that punt would turn good for 32 yards. Now, like I said, a lot of these games could come down to what this kid can do. You know, get an offense good field position. And nice juke right there. And that punt return goes for eight. We up three to nothing. You wanna you don't you do not want to keep giving this kid opportunities to <laughs> showcase his talent. And that good punt return is good for 26. It's three a three-nothing game. So it's anybody's game at this point. As we spin off one tackle, turn it on the Jets. This is what this kid can do. And that good punt return is good for 30. I don't know what's up with this offense, but I, when this kid becomes running back one, this, this team is definitely going to turn around. It, it's definitely good punt returns. It's a good field position, and we end up winning that game 13 to nothing. So stay tuned to, throughout the whole video, man. This is his entire freshman season all in one video. Now we go going against you know a school that you know that wanted this kid. Let's go his first touchdown of his young career, 53 yard punt return duty. Now Wyoming showed serious consideration on signing this kid. But ultimately, they was out of the question. They 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 did not make his list. Kickoff return duty, seven seven ball game. He turned it on the Jets. And let's check out the penalty. It was clipping. So we up 17 to 14. This kid is turning on the Jets once again. And he barely get caught. Shoestring tackle. Not before 81 yard return. We up by three. Third quarter. Let's see what this kid can do. This kid is 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 he the next Devin Hester? Like, is he really the next Devin Hester? Y'all let me know. We are up big in this game. 41 to 21. You know, this is going to be the last play of this game. But this, this just by distance, bro, that's clipping. I seen that coming, bro. <laughs> I seen that coming. As he will end up winning this game 41 to 31. The third game, we 2 0 going against Northern Illinois. Trying to take it to the outside. We turned the corner, and what a great return 32 yards return. Second quarter, just out racing everyone to the edge. And once he get in the open field, you rarely gonna catch this dude. Very rare you gonna see this dude get caught. Once he get in the open field, bro, this stop, bro. You got the angle, but this is not gonna help. This not going to help. Let's go 91 yards to the crib. That's what we like to see. We up 24 to 5. Get to the edge, baby. Get to the edge. Juke him. Good, nice return, return of 20 yards. And we end up winning that game to move to 3-0 against Washington State. They're coming in at 2-1. We are rocking out the icy white, all white uniforms. 10-10 ball game, 22nd level for the end of the half. This dude, bro, ain't no way he hawking him down like that. That return is good for 58 yards. We down by four. Can we make something shake? Can we make something happen? 
And we got a three-point lead late in the third quarter. Let's see if we can make some damage. Let's see if we can make something happen. Don't get this kid to open field. I'm telling you, don't get this kid to open field. And he breaks one tackle, two tackles, three tackles, and we end up coming up clutch winning that game 30 to 24. We moved to 4-0, and taking on Temple here at home. Bro, he gone. He gone. <laughs> He's gone. I told y'all, once he get in the open field, nobody. I mean, very rare this kid get caught. 101 kickoff return. 13-7. Oh, Duke him. Nice return. We take them 25 yards. Oh, let's go. Bro, Juke him. <laughs> Yo, he outrunning the whole team that stiff arm inside the five. And we still down by one. Can we make something happen? Can we make something fucking happen? For what? <laughs> like, are you fucking serious? No time left on the bro. This kid is fucking special. Like for real. ESPN number one classic, man. We fought back. And this kid single-handedly won the game by himself. Fresno State, we down by 14. We 5-0. They coming in at 4-1. Like I said in the beginning, that's a team that we got to watch out for. A sleeper team. Girl, he gone, bro. He gone. Just stop diving. Just stop diving, bro. No, you got the angle, but we just going to cut it back inside. Touchdown, 98-yard return. We down by two score. The kid can't beat Fresno State by itself. Offense got to make something happen. We trying to make something happen. We pick up 30 yards right there. We down by three scores. This kid cannot beat the entire team by himself, and he damn near going to try. But we down 35 to 7. Our undefeated streak is definitely in jeopardy right now. Bro, can he do it again? Bro, what? No way. <laughs> I know that was clipping, and it was clipping on the plate. That's tough luck, bro. That is, that's tough. Oh, nice block. Get to the edge. Get to the edge. Let's go. Juke him. <laughs> Why did we swerve it to him? Nice return, 58 yards. Bro, we got our ass whooped this game, bro. We, we just cannot, you know, defense got to play better, man. This kid damn near three scores in one game. That's unreal. That is unreal, bro. We, we, don't, we, we just going to continue to play our role, man. Continue to do what we do. I mean, that's all we can do. You feel me? So we end up losing that game 42 to 28. Arkansas State, they are one and four. We are five and one. We got thumped last game against Fresno State. Let's see if we can make something happen on the kickoff return. A nice return of 40 yards. Early third go to action. Action. That's an action. <laughs> Well, I know a lot of people wanted me to go. I've seen different responses, man. Appreciate everybody engagement on the comments. You know, some people want to UCLA. And big shout out to Coach Treadwell. He, he's the OG of the channel, man. So big shout out to you. Bro, he is gone. He is gone. Bro, he is the next Devin Hester. I promise you. Fourth quarter action. We down by three. This kid got the... Bro. Make it... <laughs> Bro, not again. Not too. Yo, this kid is something else. But like I was saying, man, UCLA, I did them a long time ago. A linebacker, actually. And I ended up picking UCLA. So, and this kid wanted to grind, man. This, it, this kid is single handedly beating Arkansas State by his damn self, man. Can we get to the edge? Nice return. 12 seconds. Let, let's see what the offices can do. But right, he got perfect position. No turnovers, no nothing. You are already in field goal range. And that pass is dropped. Quarterback only had 80 passing yards, bro. That's eight seconds left. Let's at least take it into overtime. The kick is up. It is off the upright. And we end up losing that game. That's tough luck, man. We fall to five, six and two on the season. 
We're taking on Texas State with three and five. Nice return. Pick 39 yards on the return. 17 and 3. Oh, cut that back inside. We gone. We gone. We are gone. We take that to the crib. The all gold yellow unis. Bruh. The uniforms look fire, like for real. <laughs> y'all, y'all can't count. This dude is unreal. Un you could just imagine once he can't be the like the running back one spot, bro. Y'all let me know if y'all want this kid to stay. You know, grind it out, or just you know, he wants to roll. Yeah, by by now this far in the season, he he's showing that. No, we ended up winning that last game. He's showing to the coaches, bro, that you put the rock in his hand, he's going to make something happen. He is going to make something happen. We nearly scored right there. We ended up winning that game, short game, 33-10. to 10. Late in the season, bro, we are finally ranked number 22 in the nation, sitting at 8-2. Taking on Florida State, we already down 28-3. to 3. Now, I knew coming into this game, this is going to be one of them challenges, man. Ole Miss, Fresno State. Florida State, you know, that's, that that could potentially be three losses right there. So, now we, we trying to fight and claw way back into this game. We we damn near doing that. <laughs> we, damn, we just got to keep fighting until they, they turn that, that play until the clock hit triple zeros. We are down by a set. Bro. We are fighting and clawing our way back into this game. And we end up winning, bro. This is how we won. They scored. The Robinson six you know six yard touchdown reception, Pearson thirty eight yards from Brace, and you know the coaching staff said why not, get his kid a chance. We moved up number three on the depth chart, so we we gonna keep grinding, man. But y'all let me know if this kid should just keep grinding, stay at App App Appalachian State, or you know should he move on to a, a Power Five team, man? As we get that punt return for a touchdown. Y'all let me know, man. Should he stay or enter the transfer portal? Because this, this by now, he feels like that he should be the running back one spot position. There's no doubt about it that he, he is not wrong. <laughs> like, you put the rock in his hand, he going to make something special happen every single time. So he go to the right team, man. They can use, like, utilize his skills like, like no other. Wildcat, random back, receiver. Y'all just let me know. Oh, he gone, bro. He is gone. <laughs> bro, he take that to the crib, bro. Just stop running. You got an angle. We just going to cut it back inside. And just like that, another touchdown. 100 on the board. 42 to 40. Bro, this, this shit is just unfair, man. This dude is just unfair. As we end up winning that game, 59 to 21. Now we are taking on Houston now in the bowl season. They send that 75, 5 and 3 concert. We are 10 and 2, number 18 in the country. College football playoff ranking, we are ranked number 20. Double digit win season. College football playoff ranking, top 10. You got Wake Forest, you got Utah, Georgia, Alabama, Oklahoma, USC, Arkansas, Miami. They wish. You got Oregon and you got Ohio State. Now we up for the award for best kick. Nation's best returner, obviously, that's gonna go to your boy Jaheim. We are first team All American as a returner. Now, tell me this kid is not special. Y'all cannot tell me this kid is not special. And we are down by three early in the well, late in the first quarter, down by three. And this, this dude is just unreal. <laughs> He's just unreal. And then we got things all tied up 13 apiece. He is gone, bro. He is, he is gone. Bro, you can get the angle all you want to. <laughs> it just, it's just unfair. Well, we just exchanging blows after blows. It's a tie ball game, but let's see if we can change that. Don't we barely get tripped up with 73 yard return? We up 23 to 20. Bro, this, this y'all know, bro. This, this is just unreal, unfair. If the right team get a hold of this kid, it's a wrap. Like, for real, we up 37 to 20. We turn the corner. And... This dude is single-handedly taking matters to his own hands. And we are down by four in, in the 
overtime. He's going to end up going to overtime, and we can win with a score. First and goal, bro. Why are we passing the rock? And that was nearly intercepted. Second and goal, handoff. And that's how we win a fucking game. Let's go. Another ESPN classic. Now, this is the end of the season before the start of next season. You know, we pretty good offense. But, like I said, this kid is definitely won't go to a team utilize his time. Now, Mississippi State, they next to last in, in the nation in Russia, followed by Iowa. You know, that could be a possibility destination. You got West Virginia. You know, they, they bottom half of as far as rushing yards. And you got Cal, who, who's well, it's where he's from, California. You got Arizona, a, a team that really offered him. They really wanted him. So, you got Notre Dame on their eight rushing touchdowns on the season. You know, you got Florida, who offense is just atrocious, bro. You got Colorado. It's, it's so many choices that this kid can, you know, choose from. You got NC State. NC State is, uh, but Arizona is another one. Resting touchdowns on a nine. San Jose State is another one. It's so many schools that can utilize this kid talent. Or should he stay? You got New Mexico, who is his first school that offered this kid. You know, Florida offense is just... I don't know. <laughs> Just he throws. I don't know what's going on there in Gainesville, but over two thousand yards kickoff return, nine touchdowns, punt returns, over seventeen hundred yards, not eighteen total touchdowns. But y'all let me know. It's your boy Siri. Logging out to the next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gone. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me, and it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty